Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I am going to get into a video on machine learning. I'm explaining the difference between AI, machine learning, and deep learning. And uh, where do you see machine learning today if you, if you want to look for it in, in, in action? So as far as AI, AI is an overarching branch and this goes into the intelligence of a computer to even if it has self-awareness and stuff of this nature it depends on wh what area it's been on what, what type of definition you go for but it's basically intelligence into a computer to complete a given task now you can go all the way up to self-awareness which we obviously haven't met yet but any intelligence to complete a task is technically ai but then we got inside that is machine learning Machine learning is basically taking information, uh, pre previous information, and learning off of it for future outcomes. Uh, so, for example, with machine learning, what you can do is you can actually take a look at Amazon. Amazon has a recommendation list within it. The, uh, the recommendation list within it looks at your previous purchase history, uh, what pages you looked at, how long you looked at it, maybe what's on your wish list, and a few things like that, and it figures out what you might want to purchase in the future or what, what you're most likely to purchase in the future. What this does is increases the revenue overall for the company because they only have a limited amount of space that goes in there. They can't show you a billion some odd gadgets and whatever in that space. So what they're going to do is have a, a algorithm that figures out you are most likely to buy these things, so let's put these things there. Otherwise, that's wasted advertisement into itself. You also will see this stuff on um, YouTube, Netflix, and a few other places where recommendation lists and fewer things is um, that's machine learning. Same thing on Facebook. So, what what uh, what is deep learning, and what's the difference between deep learning and machine learning? Deep learning is a subsection within machine learning. So we got AI, then we got machine learning, which is inside of AI, and then we got deep learning, which is inside of machine learning. Machine learning has been around for a little while, but it's really been heavily in practice over the past um, number of years. Deep learning has really been, it's, it's a fairly new thing. It's, it's, it's been around for a while as far as the understanding and stuff on how it possibly could be used um, and, and implementations and stuff like that. But in all reality, for the average person to be able to use deep learning, that is very, very new. The fact of the matter is, is hardware has just gotten to the point where we can start using deep learning. Now, hardware's only got to the point in desktops and some laptops to use deep learning on a good scale especially for a one given program maybe not you know millions and millions but one given program to do something maybe play a game for you or maybe do like i said with the recommendation list or something else but it, it, we're still far off from having a um, deep learning be used to emulate a human reaction from something like cortana Siri or something else, and we're even further off from your phone getting these type of things. Uh, we can simulate some of that stuff by sending out the uh, data to some. Right, with Microsoft, what they do is they send out the data to their servers. Their servers figure out what needs to be done, sends out the data back. Um, same thing with Google and a few others. That's actually what they do. It's very little is actually on site um, because it does take a lot of processing power. So with that uh, deep learning, what is the actual difference between that and machine learning? Machine learning is great for things that you have a large amount of data, past data to figure out, um, or a very strict uh, line as far as if um, it's not this one thing, then it's this other, and it keeps going down that line until it's a known. I'll give examples of that in the future videos, but um, deep learning is a little hands-off, not completely hands-off, a little hands-off, whereas normal machine learning has full hands-on, pretty much. 
Um, in deep learning, it doesn't need as much data. But the thing is, is deep learning is more accurate, but it takes a lot more resources as far as processing and stuff of that. Um, and, and it does cost more because you got to have the equipment to run it. So as far as deep learning, you might hear things called neural nets. Uh, we're going to be getting into neural networks in future videos. But the thing to note is whenever you hear neural nets or neural networks, that is deep learning. Uh, so with that example, um, what, what, what is something that normal machine learning and deep learning, you know, what, what, what's some tasks that one can do versus the other? So we've seen, uh, if you look it up, we've seen some video games, something like Mario 64 or, or Zelda or one of these others, where you have a deep learning algorithm that uses generations based on a positive feedback, the more positive feedback based on some prior set things. So how far it made it to from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen, something like Mario or maybe um, the, the more positive feedback it is, the less uh, damage the character got, the more positive feedback, so on, so on, so on with that. And what would end up happening is it will take a look at that and improve upon those generations of algorithms uh, automatically if, if you set up right. So what would end up happening is you can actually have a, a do, doing a very basic minimum stuff uh, to the side scrolling type of game. Uh, you can do it in 3D but it's going to take a lot more processing power than what most people have now. But to the side scrolling game, you can basically teach it uh, very basic things, maybe have it watch you go through and run through, or you can have it do its own thing. So you, so you program, uh, these are the buttons. You don't even tell what the buttons do. You, like if, if it has to move left or right, it uh, you know it, it, it has to figure it out on its own so that means that you're going to have to have a kill on there if it sits there for too long then it kills it off and that way it knows that it needs to do something you know start pressing buttons and try to figure out uh, what, what gives the most positive results on that but over a period of time with modern day equipment you can beat a good number of like something like Mario levels uh, so say about 12 to 24 hours, the thing will be better than the best human in the world at, at the time. Uh, uh, so getting through her thing. Uh, it will know these tricks, um, stuff that coders at a time for that game didn't really think about or glitches and things that, the, uh, that, that some didn't think about, like the trolling or whatever it might be. And, and what would end up happening is it will use that to its advantage it, to the point that it will find these tricks to the point that it will um, a normal player wouldn't do these things because they don't have the reaction time and it's been proven with uh, uh, Smash Brothers um, a fighting Nintendo game um, that competitive wise normal players they take a look at it and they say they would never do these things that the machine learning is doing and the machine learning is kicking their butt at it but the reason why they'll never do it is because they don't have a quick enough reaction time no one in the world has a quick enough reaction time to do these things and after about 24 hours or after several playthroughs depending on the programming it can be literally better than any other player human player in the world that's that's fairly important in, into itself. Now, let's get into the um, risk of of machine learning. Since I got a few minutes here, the the risk of machine learning is machine learning taking over jobs, uh, certain industries, and a few things like that. But just like I said with the Super Smash Brothers, where the machine, the the algorithm, is able to figure out how to beat the person on, that that's playing, what, what is found not through that, but through some navy stuff that I was part of, uh, some think tanks and a few other things that I was part of. What was found is 
that you can actually, if, if you have the machine helping you out and guiding you at certain parts, so increasing your reaction time. So say, for example, if it sees that if you do this exact thing at this point, then what would end up happening is it would knock out the person of the brain, given it's one of the type of fighting games. So what would end up happening is it will notice that the human does not have the enough reaction time, but they can do that. So the machine overtakes the person's control, does that thing real quick, and, and, and takes it off. The more the machine plays the person, the more the machine figures out the person's personality, and the better things go. So it does these things, and it works with the person, and it's able to beat the actual uh, pure computer playing against them. So a machine plus computer, uh, a, a person plus computer, can be a pure computer as job. So people uh, worried about, oh, something like, oh, computers are going to take over my job, AI is going to take over my job, stuff like that. This probably will end up happening, but if the business does it right, or depending on the job where, you know, if it's physical or where it may be, what would end up happening is you plus machine is a far better job than just the machine on its so own. Keep in mind, it, it all goes into numbers. So cost effective, if it's more affordable, just not to have you, you know, there's little mistakes here and there and the machine's going to create. Uh, so what? But uh, if uh, so much money is being saved by not having a person, that, that you know, that, that that's, that's basically your what you got to worry about. So with that being said, uh, hopefully this answers some questions and whatever it may be. If uh, people are interested in this, I'll continue this uh, machine learning tutorial. If not, then not. But with that in mind, I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.